In this video, I'm gonna explain what an editor can do on Twitch and what is the difference with being a moderator and how do you even make somebody an editor. My name is Shuri and I make streamer support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. But before you begin, I stream every Tuesday, Friday and Sunday, 8pm Central European time on twitch.tv slash Shuri. To answer the question, what can an editor do, we're gonna hop on to the PC and I'm just gonna show you. Cheers. If you're an editor on Twitch on somebody's channel already, you can actually go to their dashboard, but it's a little bit tricky. So to get to the dashboard of the channel that you're editor at, you need to go to this specific link and it's quite hard. So I would recommend you write it down. I will leave it down in the comments as well, just to make it easier for you. So the link is dashboard.twitch.tv slash you slash the channel name you're an editor of slash stream dash manager. I will say it again just because it's really difficult to remember. <laughs> dashboard.twitch.tv slash you slash the channel you are an editor of slash stream dash manager. I recommend you save this as one of your favorite websites just so you can find it back easily and you don't have to type this whole link over again. So now we're on the dashboard of my other channel which is in Dutch which is called Goedgemutst and I'm there with my other account Truy. I gave myself the editor role so we can exactly see what an editor can do on this channel. First of all, we can see some stream stats, we can see how long the session of the stream is going on, how many viewers they're watching, how many views in total on the channel, the amount of followers, but we cannot see the subs. <laughs> so you cannot see how much revenue this streamer actually makes, which is quite nice if the streamer doesn't want to share that. Then underneath we see the stream details where you can change the title and the category somebody is streaming in, and I believe, yeah, even the language. So just so you know, editors actually have the access to change your title and your category on Twitch. And then here on the left, we click on the menu to see what we can do more. If we go to insights and channel analytics, it will actually not show anything. Even though there are stats, it will say that there's not enough data. There is enough data on my other account, but it will just not show because we're an editor and not the actual owner of the account. Then we can also go to achievements, where we can actually see all the achievements. They're not super mind-blowing, but that's the thing to keep in mind that your editors can see your stats on the achievement page. Then we go to the community tab, where we have channel points, which is totally blocked, access denied for editors. Content, video producer. So this is the video producer, this is where you want to be if you are an editor, because you want to download the VODs here and you can also make highlights of streams. Like you see, there are a couple of highlights here at the top already. I believe that Nim is working on them right now. <laughs> That's why they have a weird thumbnail. We normally add thumbnails on them because we think that looks cool. But uh, yeah, he's, he's literally working on it right now, so, so that's why they're not there. You can also see some past broadcasts here. You see the difference because here it says past broadcasts and here it says highlight. Highlights will never be deleted off your channel unless you or your editors delete them. Votes will be deleted after 14 days if you're not a Prime member or a partner. If you are having Prime or are a partner, they will be deleted after 60 days. So if you want to keep some things out of your past broadcasts, make sure that you or your editors are highlighting them, because otherwise they will disappear. Then we go to collections. This is the place where you can basically collect highlights or past broadcasts in one collection. It's kind of like playlists on YouTube. And obviously you can get to that as an editor as well, because that's where you need to be. And then we have streamer tools and create a camp. This is just some information about streaming and you don't really need that to stream unless you want information. <laughs> So that's basically everything that an editor can do. Let me change it around and just set me on being a moderator and then you can see what I can do as a moderator. Yeah, I set it to moderator only now and as you can see it says access denied. But we can go to the menu and go to preferences and to moderation and we can actually set the moderation settings of the channel. This is literally the only thing you can do if you're only a moderator. You can make somebody an editor and a moderator if you want them to be able to do more. Now we're going to take a look at how we can actually make somebody an editor. So let's go to my account <laughs> and my dashboard here. So here at the top left, we can go to something called community and then rule manager. Right here, we can see all the moderators and vips and editors in my channel. And what we can do is click on add new in the top right and add a person's name. So let's add my other channel, Goedgemutst. And here we can set moderator, VIP and editor. You cannot be a VIP and a moderator at the same time, but all the other combinations are possible. I think it's because a moderator is already higher than a VIP, so that's 
maybe why you can be VIP and a moderator at the same time. It's also using the same slot probably for the for the badge. So if you want somebody to be a moderator, just take this, and for an editor, just take this, and then save at the back, and it will add this account somewhere in this list. If you want to make somebody editor or a moderator that's already in this list, just search for their name and then just click on the plus at somebody's name and just make them an editor. Boom, now they're an editor. To remove them, just click on the minus. Simple as that. The question you might have is how do I download clips and do I need to be an editor for that? Natively with Twitch, yes, you need to be an editor for that. And I'm going to show you how you can download a clip. So we're back at my other channel, Goed Gemutst, still on my own account, Trui, and we go to clips at the top here. Some clips have appeared, we can just click on one. I don't know what all these clips are, I haven't watched them yet. At the bottom here, you will see this button called share. Click on that, and then the left one here is the download button. If you click on that, we can save the file. If you're on Chrome, it will just be underneath in the browser. If you're on Firefox, it will come up here at the top, and it will be downloading. With both browsers, you can find it in your download folder or directly drag it from the browser to the map you want to have it in. This is also the place where you can get the link to the clip. Copy to clipboard. Paste it. It will just be the clip. And it will just start playing if people go to this link. If you found a clip, but you want to see the full video, the full broadcast of it, just click on watch full video underneath. And that will bring you to the full past broadcast, the full vault. And good to note is that if you are in a VOD or a past broadcast, you can still make clips. So if there was a moment that nobody clipped, you can still make sure to make a clip of it. If you want to highlight a broadcast, just go underneath here and click on highlight. This will bring you to the highlighter of this video. You can also do it from the dashboard. Go back to the dashboard of the channel you're a moderator of. Go to the left, go back to content, video producer, and then here you will see all the videos. And then just click on highlight here on the right. And it will basically bring you to the same highlighter tool. I hope this was clear. If it wasn't, leave a comment down below. Now we'll send you over to a video about Twitch teams. I'm talking about the pros and the cons of joining a Twitch team and how you can get into one. I will see you there. Have fun. I'll see you in that video. No, seriously, just click on that video. <laughs> I'll see you there.